Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this TA Tech Tip, we will demonstrate the gap temperature compensation geometry calibration when using a DHR. When performing an isothermal test, the temperature control system and the upper geometry are first conditioned at the set temperature, then a zero gap is performed. The measurement gap for each experiment following is set based on that reference point. However, when there is a change in temperature, like in a temperature ramp or a sweep experiment, there will be a change in measurement gap due to the thermal expansion or contraction of the upper and lower geometries. This expansion or contraction will cause erroneous rheological property calculations unless appropriate correction is made. Gap temperature compensation is thus used to correct or compensate the gap for geometry expansion or contraction during a temperature ramp or sweep experiment. To calibrate the gap temperature compensation, go to Geometry. Double click on the selected geometry and go to the Calibrations tab. Expand the gap temperature compensation calibration area. Select the temperature range and rate that exactly matches the test conditions. Then click Calibrate. When complete, choose to accept or cancel the new value. When setting up an experiment from the setup window, under Geometry, the gap temperature compensation can be turned on or off as necessary. When enabled, there are two modes of operation, depending on the set axial force control. When axial force control is not active, the rheometer head physically moves to maintain the initial measurement gap using the gap temperature compensation value. When the axial force control is active, the rheometer head physically moves to maintain the initial measurement gap as long as the movement of the head does not result in an axial force that exceeds the specific value. However, beyond that point, axial force will maintain control, but the reported gap will be modified according to the gap temperature compensation value, so the resultant gap reported will be correct. In this tech tip, we have demonstrated the gap temperature compensation calibration when using the DHR. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments. Thank you for your interest.